Today I'm going to be painting the clan rats from the new Skaventide box and I'm using this as an opportunity to try 14 different skin tones across the 40 man unit. To kick everything off I'm going to be basting the clan rats clothes with Avalon Sunset and this colour is chosen because these Skaven are going to be part of my Skaven clan scurvy army. These guys are the Skaven pirates of the world and I'm excited to be finally expanding this army beyond a few small units into a full size army. For the wooden parts like the shields, clubs and banner poles, I went to one of the lightest browns I had, which is Gortor Brown. The weapons and other metal parts, I went with Lead Belcher and Rune Lord Brass, because I didn't want everything to be silver. These are scrappy pirates, so they should look like they're making their stuff from whatever metal they can get their hands on. For any straps or belts, I used Doom Bull Brown, because when it gets shaded down, it makes a really great leather colour. I started shading on the clothes and I had to look back and see what shade I had used previously and it was Seraphim Sepia. This is a great shade for this because it's the right tone that makes the Avalon Sunset look dirty but not as much as Agrax Earthshade would. I didn't mind getting it a bit patchy on the banners because I think banners will be getting absolutely filthy since they are pirate banners. After adding Null and Oil on the metal and doom bull parts I then shade the wooden parts with Agrax Earthshade. With all the shades dry, next is the highlighting, and with so many models to do, I went with the best way to get them done quickly, dry brushing the highlights on. I enjoy highlighting, but for the Skaven, it looks like dry brushing was invented for armies like this, and Uriel Yellow was used for the claws. I went back to Gortor Brown then to brighten up all the brown parts. Stormhole Silver was then used to cover up all the metal parts. One thing that I wanted for my clan scurvy army is that all the clan rats in it must have their tails removed. It's an initiation that they must take to join the crew. So bye bye tails, but I'm sure I'll find some use for these bits in the future. After trying to work the different tones on the skin, I settled with using 3 different base coats. 20 models were going to be based with flayed one flesh, 10 with cabbage and flesh and 10 with kislev flesh. They are all going to be shaded and then highlighted with a dry brush of the base colour. After basing 20 clan rats with flayed one flesh, I split them into 4 groups and for the first group I tried something a little different. I used cardboard crimson but I had to add a good few drops of lamb and medium to thin it down enough so the clan rats wouldn't just be pure red. And it turned out ok but as long as it's watered down enough with lamb and medium. Group 2 was shaded with Seraphim Sepia and this turned out to be like the clothes colour. It looks ok but it blends into the clothes too much. Group 3 and 4 was Reiklin Flesh Shade and Gullum and Flesh and there's a reason why these are so good to use over skin. They look great. You know what you're going to get with these two shades. Then we come to Carriage and Flesh and this can be a hard colour to shade because it's so dark. For 3 of the models I used Gullum and Flesh which I don't think was dark enough to make any massive changes on the skin. Four models were then shaded with Agrax Earthshade and this is a great shade to use. It's dark enough to really shade in the recesses without overpowering the cabbage and flesh. The final three models were then shaded with Carbon Crimson. I really wanted this shade to work and while it did darken the recesses, you couldn't really tell that it was Carbon Crimson that did it. After basing 10 models with Kislev Flesh, then I started off by shading 4 of them with Gullum and Flesh, and as expected, they look great. Simple and a great looking skin tone. I gave Caribourg Crimson one last try, but I overdid it a little, and this guy turned out a little too red. But the next two models turned out really nice, with Reichland Flesh Shade, and surprisingly Skeleton Whore turned out really good as well. But then I tried Seraphim Sepia, Ayandan Yellow and Plague Bear Flesh on the final 3 models and yeah, the final results of them were similar to the Seraphim Sepia on the Flayed One Flesh earlier. They just blended in too much to the clothes. But if you don't experiment sometimes like this, you're never going to find this stuff out. There was only a few finishing touches left and the first was that any wraps or cloth parts were painted with Wraithbone and then shaded with Agrax Earthshade. 
I then tried some slimy grime dark from AK and the shields to see what it was going to look like. And it was nice, but I haven't really tried it enough to get the best result out yet. I was finally finished painting all 40 Skaven Tide clan rats, and with the school summer holiday still on, it took a little longer than usual to get these guys finished. This big unit gives the perfect chance to try out different skin tone and shades that leaves you with a unit that has multiple different colours spread out all across. But this is just the start, because over the next couple of weeks I'm going to be going through the Skaven side of the Skaven Tide box. And if you guys like this video, make sure to let me know in the comment section below, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and once again, thanks for watching.